The heat got reduced. Yeah. They were just in space moments ago. So their arms are able to float freely. 400 meters. 400 meters. Tall. This is a gorgeous bluebird day here that we have for the splashdown of Route 9. It's incredible to think that the Dragon capsule just minutes ago was going over 17,000 17, miles per hour and now gently coasting to a soft splashdown. 200. 200 meters. Copy, 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. Wow, 200 meters. They are going to land in the water. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for Splashdown, located Ooh. in the Gulf of America. Uh, so that's, the, that's, the water, that's water. That's water. They're that's going water. Down. They're going oh, down. They're touching the water. Amazing. Now the rescue crew will come and pick them up. Copy, splashdown. We see main shoots cut. NASA, SpaceX, Crew 9, return. Excellent. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Is it last month? See how, how much the capsule got burned. See that yeah. tank? They were fast. While it does take about 30 minutes for the main recovery vessel to make its way over to the capsule, these fast boats uh, will be doing a couple of things simultaneously. A couple of them are going to be working to retrieve the parachutes that you see in the background there of this drone shot. Those parachutes will be retrieved from the ocean surface. We want to make sure we, uh, we are able to pull those out. The recovery vessel there closest to the spacecraft is going to be performing some safety checks. We can see there they're using an instrument that is basically working to detect if there are any hypergolic vapors or fumes that are still <laughs> residing in or, and or around the Draco thruster nozzles or, or outlets. Uh, the hypergolic fuel, which is necessary for on-orbit uh, on orbit burns to con to maneuver the, the spacecraft. Unfortunately, those hyper 